Welcome to this edition of Gardening Minute. Today I'm talking about a very typical topic that we're going to fight here in the garden, not only now, but into the rest of the gardening season with tomatoes, peppers, wine crops, and squash. So let me share my screen with you in just a minute and show you what we have. Does this picture look familiar? Where you have tomatoes that are growing that are finely setting on color, but have a stab on the bottom? This is called blossom end rot, which is a common disorder that we find when tomatoes are developing during the heat of summer. This is caused by a calcium tie-up in the soil when the soil moisture is not consistent. Either we can have really dry spells, really wet spells where the garden soil is very wet and then it dries out rapidly or has just a lot of inconsistency. The tomato plant requires lots of moisture, one, to sustain itself, and two, to set on fruit, as in the tomato, and to develop it fully. But without that consistent moisture level, the calcium is not available to the tomato to be developed. And that is where our problem begins. So this is a very simple disorder to work with. And it simply comes down to making sure that your soil stays moist, but not soggy throughout the gardening season. We tend to see blossom end rot in melons, zucchini, peppers, and tomatoes the most. And we also see a higher frequency of blossom end rot externally, but we also see an internal version of blossom end rot when we cut into tomatoes that have a grayish center and the blossom end rot is internal and not external. What we simply need to do is to make sure when we water the garden or the container garden or the raised bed that that soil moisture is consistent. In container gardens, that is going to require a little bit more work and management on the part of the garden as the sides of the container will dry out and warm up very quickly causing the calcium tire to set in quicker in a container versus a raised bed or a garden plot. Some of the simple things that can be done to help reduce this incidence is to water at the base of the plant. And after watering, slowly sinking into the container or the garden or the raised bed, simply take a long screwdriver and shove it in to see how far the water has traveled in the moist soil. And that tells us how far the water has traveled moisture levels. That's very important to know. Another thing is to mulch at the base of the plants. This helps retain some moisture and also buffers the effect of the heat on the ground right below the plant. If you're in a container garden or in a raised bed garden, though, it's still going to have the warming effect and the drying up on the sides of the container or the raised bed. But mulch is a wonderful way to also help buffer the soil temperature and the soil moisture differences. For more information about blossom and rock, please contact me, David Lott, in the Extension Office in North Platte, Nebraska at 308-532-2683. Thank you and have a great day. Bye-bye.